Here we go. All right. Hello. Welcome again to our DAPS yoga class. So we are going to start as always standing or um, if you're staying in your chair, you just do the movements with us and then we'll transition to the floor. So I've got my chair nearby for that bit of balance assistance, uh, trying not to put all your weight on it. So we'll get started. Like I like to do, let me make sure everybody's muted. Give me one second. I'm so sorry. That was my big hand. All right. I'm going to mute everybody. And let me um, not allow you guys to mute me off. Okay. All right. Here we go. So adjust my chair just nearby, just in case, just in case. All right. So coming strong um, to Dasana as I like to start that mountain pose. So I've got my feet, uh, and again, always remember you are welcome. If I encourage you to take your shoes off. So, I mean, if you're at home, you're hopefully in a safe, clean space that you can stand, but just give yourself a quick moment. Um, in fact, you have your hand on the chair. Let's roll kind of forward and backward a couple of times. So let's just see, I'll show you from the side. You're just kind of transitioning weight from the heels to the toes. So you can feel how your feet um, kind of are able to plug to the floor. So once we've done that, let's now plug our toes to the ground. Heels are planted. So if you can imagine from, like I'm tracing a line, from your big toe down to your pinky, to the heels, and then back up, almost like a, a triangle, of both feet squeezing down to the ground. So get that foundation there as you engage through your feet all the way up through your legs. Go ahead and draw your belly in. Standing up tall when we squeeze the glutes. Get your spine long. And again, this is our Tadasana, our mountain pose. So just take a few long breaths in and out. Just again, all about slowing and controlling your inhales and exhales. And again, I, I like to close my eyes. You can have your hand on the seat just to support you. But again, feel that connection to the earth. Feel like your spine has the ability now to get longer, like you've got a string attached to your head, lengthening you up so your shoulders are drawn back, your ribs are open, and you feel that solid connection again to the ground. So you just take a few more mindful breaths in and out. Good, one more time. Nice long inhale and exhale. All right, now we're gonna play with um, a standing posture. I'm gonna have you, if you're standing, get your feet a little bit wider. My toes are pointed out, and I'm just gonna gently bend my knees and just kinda, I'm not relaxed. I'm just gently bringing my hands to my thighs. So we've done cat cow breathing um, on our hands and knees. We're gonna try it like this standing. So as you inhale, tilt your tailbone up, tilt your chin up, arch your back gently, and then exhale, round it out. So tuck the chin, the tailbone in, pull the belly button in tight. Then let's do that again. Inhale, arching the spine. And then exhale, rounding. Try to scoop your belly in, help push out more air. Let's do that two more times. Inhale, look up. Exhale, round it out. Squeezing all the air out. Good, one more time, everybody. Big inhale. Big exhale. Now you're rounded, can you gently round back up? Let your chin come up last, pull your belly in, inhale, coming all the way up, and then relax the shoulders down. All right, so our feet are separated, but let's just turn our toes in. So I'm gonna have my kind of big toes pointed in a little bit, standing back so you can see my feet. Again, chair is always there. So you shuffle over. I want you just to, again, look at your feet, let the big toes kind of come in a little bit. Squeeze up through the belly. Let's bring our right arm up. Press your hips a little to the right. And again, we're advancing here. We're trying to avoid that twisting. So maybe you can look down at your hips. Feel how your shoulders are. Everything's still facing forward. We're just slightly tilted. Now we're going to take a big breath in. Feel the belly button still draw in, just like when the legs were closer. And as you breathe out, just gently reach over. So we're just, we're still warming up. We're still trying to actively draw our hips over to the right without twisting as we lift our right arm up 
and over to the left without twisting in the shoulders. So notice if your head is kind of lifted up, try to relax it down. Try to stay connected to your long breaths in and out. Good, so let's do that one more time. Big inhale, squeeze in your belly, exhale, reaching over. All right, carefully release. Come back to center. Let that blood flow come back in. We're going to try the other side. So go ahead as you bring your left arm up. I'm going to bring my hand to my hips. So I feel my hips drawing over, but there's no twisting at all. Just check out your shoulders for a second. And I want you to visualize your ankles kind of squeezing them in. So you feel a strong leg engagement, strong belly still. All right, and we're going to let our head relax to the right shoulder. So if you can imagine this neck all the way down the spine to the left hip, even the left arm, all opening up, but you want to feel strong in your base, your legs, your, your abs squeezing in to support you. Now let's take a big breath in, lengthening up, big breath out, maybe draw the hips over a tiny bit, maybe reach the left arm over a little bit. All right, one more time. Big breath in, big breath out. All right, gently release. Come back to center. All right, now stay here for just a moment. We're going to do that movement uh, dynamically with our breath. So just be very slow and deliberate. You may go at the same pace as me. You may be different. So just try to be mindful uh, as your body moves with the breath. All right, so let's inhale. Right arm comes up. Press the hips over a little bit. Exhale, bring it down. All right, let's try the other side. Inhale, left arm up. Squeeze the belly, exhale down. Good, let's do that again. Inhale up, squeeze the belly, exhale down. Good, keep going. Inhale, left arm up, hips to the left. Exhale back to center. Let's do two more rounds. Inhale, right arm up, exhale, bring it down. Inhale, left arm up, exhale, bring it down. All right, one more, both sides. Inhale. Exhale down, last time, inhale, exhale down. All right, release the shoulders back, walk the feet together. All right, so I'm gonna bring my feet a little closer. Um, if you can have them underneath your hips, that's perfect. If they need to be a little wider, that's fine. We're gonna do a, a nice little stretch for our shoulders, all right? So let's think about right arm, We've done this before, I think, eagle arms, left arm comes up. So we're just gonna make an X. This, we're gonna do this two times. This first time, everybody bring your hands to your shoulders and draw the elbows down. So I'm, I'm lifted up tall, I'm not rounding. I'm trying to lengthen my spine. Sitting up with the chest broad, but the elbows down. So get yourself a nice big hug, right? Feeling good here, starting to let the shoulders, the elbows, the wrists even open. Take another breath in and out. All right, relax the arms, shake it out for a second. Now, my right arm was first last time, so now my left arm is going to be first, and then my right arm, and then I'm going to bring the hands up again. So notice if you got your elbows up, just mindfully draw them down. Notice if you round it a little bit. So it's, it's a little compression here that we're experiencing. Our shoulders are down, our elbows are down, but we're lifted up tall. So we're trying not to round in the shoulders at all. We're just drawing our tummy in, taking a few mindful breaths in and out. All right, one more time. Inhale, exhale. All right, let the arms slow down, kind of shake it out. Now, we're going to do all that one more time with the option to expand it if you feel good. If you don't, you just stick with it, with what you're able to do. All right, so right arm first, down. Left arm. So make that X. Now, again, option one, everybody can come here. Ooh, get those shoulders down, elbows down. Now, you can stay here, or you start to go further by bringing the hands up. And this might be enough. You're still not rounding. Your elbows are still squeezing in. Now, if you have a little space, so we cross at the elbows, this last bit, you have to get really tight in the elbows if you can cross the last part at the wrist. So look at your hands, your thumbs are to your face, and I feel like I'm clapping at myself. All right, so again, if this is too much pressure, start, start at the beginning, that's perfect. All right, if you're going for the full expression, let's still keep our spine long, 
belly in. Now you can stay here for the last part for everybody if you want. Start to lift your arms up a little bit, still drawing your shoulders down your back. Only lifting up with the elbows, maybe in line with the shoulders, but no higher than that. Here's the best part. You have to come in to your breathing. So take a nice long inhale, squeezing your belly, squeezing the elbows forward. One more time. Big breath in and out. All right, carefully release. Bring the arms down so that it causes compression in the shoulders and then you get the release and you're like, man, that, <laughs> that feels better. All right. So now we're going to try the other side. And I want to encourage you to try to do the same thing. So just remember, if you know one side doesn't work that way, try to back off the, the stronger side just to keep things a little more balanced. All right, so left arm is first. Make that X. All right, so again, option one, just test it out here. See how the hands do on the shoulders. Going for that second step is just simply bringing the hands to touch. So this might be enough as you continue to pull the elbows down to lift it up tall in the spine. Now to go further, you have to really check. Get those elbows really tight, see what the hands do, and then maybe, again, back to the hands are touching, but you just take it a step further and cross at the wrist. So do that clap with yourself for a second. All right, so again, elbows down, but shoulders down. So you don't have that rounding, you're lifted up tall, Seated or standing, it's the same movement, just working through the arms. Take a moment to breathe. So we get the compression first and then start to drift the arms up. Maybe, maybe they don't come as high. Maybe you got some really tight shoulders today and that's okay. I just want you to kind of go back forth just softly. Gaze into your forearms. So just steady your breath, steady your balance here. Draw the shoulders down. Draw the elbows forward. Let's take one more big breath in, everybody. Big breath out. All right, carefully release. Yes, that gets a little, uh, again, that builds up some, uh, some tension hypothetically, but then you just let it all float out and it feels good. All right, so we'll give our upper body a break. If you're standing, definitely be near your chair. I wanna do just a quick little exercise um, to work on balance. So let's think about our left foot. So remember what we did earlier, kind of plug the toes and heel up and down. Now plant the heel and then plant the toes. So bend your left knee a little bit, squeeze those muscles tight. The weight's gonna come to the left leg and just see what happens if you can cover your right foot. So I've got my hand on the chair, that's your balance. Now here's, here's the uh, actual posture. You're gonna bring your hand to your leg. The higher you can lift your leg is fine, but all I want you to do is, is a tiny bit, like 20%, like little, like two out of 10, nothing big. Just start to press your leg up into your hand. Now, if you're pushing hard, you're gonna feel all these muscles, but we're not doing that. So back it off, squeeze your standing leg and lift up your leg a little bit again. So you're gently pressing your thigh into your hand to kind of wake up those hips. So relax it. And then again, just press it up. So pulling the belly in, just barely lifting the leg up. Not a whole lot of effort. You may not feel anything at this point, and that's good. All right, release. Kind of shake it out for a second. Let's try it on the other leg. So I'm just going to move my chair, and you can walk to the other side. My right leg, right side is going to be the supported side. So take a moment. Toes, heel, maybe just kind of feel your right leg. Plant the leg. So plant your um, right toes and heel down to the floor. Squeeze up all for your right leg. Again, keep a little bend in the knee. That's perfect. So draw a strong the belly. Right hand to the chair support. And then see if you can lift up your left leg a little bit. And maybe it doesn't come high. Maybe it comes higher. Just kind of feel where you're at. Just hovering above the floor. Now our left hand is going to rest on the thigh. And very gently press the leg up. So what we're trying to do is wake up our hip flexors. So relax it and then gently press it up again. I would say use the same amount of effort you would use as you were like typing on a cell phone, but not too much. So back it off a tiny bit and then press it up again, just a little bit. All right, really shake it out for a second. So we might do some more uh, balancing postures. We'll see. 
But for now, um, I'm going to have my left hand on a chair. If you are seated, um, let me show you real quick. Those of you in your chair, you are going to pivot to bring your left leg back and your right leg to the side. Now we're going to kind of tilt our hips a little bit to kind of open up that left hip. So for you standing, I'm going to have my left hand on the chair and I'm going to step my right foot. You can see my feet. Right foot is forward. Back leg is behind you. Back heel is lifted. All right, now this is kind of a lunge uh, stance, if you will. So I have my hand on the chair. You might need to have both hands on the chair and that's fine. But think about this back leg for a second. You might start to feel your hip. If you can, then you try to squeeze that glute space and help to open up your hip maybe a little bit further. Maybe not. All right, so you can always bend your back knee. It's okay, even in the chair. Maybe you can kind of tuck your tailbone a little bit. So this is gonna be different for everybody. If you have one hand free, your right arm, maybe bring it up. All right, so you're feeling like you're getting almost into this, uh, what's called a crescent lunge, a high lunge. So take a moment here to breathe. In and out. So one more time, inhale, and maybe you're feeling steady to play with the other arm, lifting up. Take one more breath in. Big breath out. All right, now we're gonna stay on this side for a second. If you are in your chair, you can stay with the heel lifted. If you're standing, you can have the heel up or you can bring it down. All right, but we're gonna still have um, just a side lunge. So again, I'm gonna give you a choice. Listen to your body. Because what we're going to try to do is bring both hands up. All right, so bring your back foot flat to steady your balance. If you're feeling really strong, your back heel can stay lifted, but your chair is there if you need it. All right, so here's where we are. Back heel is either up or down. Just listen to your body. Now we're going to move our arms, old more dynamic. So let's inhale, bring them up, but then exhale, bend the elbows. So inhale, bring them forward and up. Exhale. Draw them down, squeeze the shoulders. Let's do three more. Inhale, squeeze the shoulders, the belly, exhale. Last two, inhale up, exhale, draw it down. One more time, big breath in, big breath out. All right, carefully release. Come back to center, forward, wherever you're at, kind of walk it out. That felt so good, we're gonna try to get her side. All right, so again, if you need to adjust your stance, your chair, uh, seated in the chair, we're gonna go now so that the uh, left leg is in the front and the right foot is back. So we're all gonna start with this high lunge kind of stance with your back heel up. And again, just feel this side, kind of notice if you are able to open the hip a little bit, if it's tighter, maybe you can kind of scoop the tailbone down so you're really drawing your belly in. And again, don't be afraid to bend that back knee. It doesn't have to be straight. I just want you to observe the hip, the quad, all that space on the right leg this time. Don't forget to breathe. All right, now, if you uh, were able on the other side, maybe the left arm can come up. Or maybe both arms, I don't know. Just again, you need to listen to your body and know that safety is number one, but you need to connect to your breath. And you feel that engagement, softening through your jaw, taking a few more inhales, listening to your body, exhale. Right, one more time, big breath in and out. All right, let's uh, release for a second. So choices, right? In the chair, you can have your uh, heel up. If you are standing, you're welcome to bring your foot down. Because remember, we're gonna do both arms up. So just be aware. Again, this is all just kind of dropping the ego and listening to your body and say, okay, what do I feel on this side? Do I feel steady? Do I feel in control? Or is this side a little bit more complicated and I gotta work through it? All right, so let's all get to our stance, foot flat or heel up, using your breath to guide both arms. So let's inhale with control, lift the arms up, and then as you exhale, draw the elbows down, squeeze the belly of the shoulders. So again, inhale up, exhale down, good, big breath in, lifting the arms, big breath out, squeezing them down. All right, two more, inhale, exhale. One more time, everybody, big breath in, big breath out. All right, release, standing back up to center. 
kind of walk the feet out for a second. It kind of gets your uh, calf stretch. So let's do a quick calf stretch. Seated or standing is going to be the same thing. Extend your right foot forward, flex your toes. Now I'm standing, my left knee is going to be bent, my right knee is a little bent. I'm just going to slightly tilt forward. So in the chair, it's the same idea. You're going to give yourself a couple moments to breathe in, lengthening your spine, breathing out. All right, one more time. Inhale, blue, back of the leg, exhale. All right, let's release this to the other side. So now my left foot's forward, my right knee is bent. If you're uh, seated, just extend your left leg out, flex your toes, and tilt from your hips a little bit. It doesn't usually take very far. Again, just to kind of feel that um, nice breath in, opening the calf, the back of the leg, the knee, be careful with that. All right, let's gently come back to center. All right, so a couple more posture standing and then we'll transition to the floor. So again, have the chair maybe in front of you just for that support. We're gonna step our feet wider and I'm going to point my right toes out and my, I'll move the chair so you can see my feet. Left toes are in a little bit. All right, so it should look like a triangle <laughs> right under your legs. That's what we're going for here. Now again, have the chair nearby if you need it. Check in for your legs for a second. Have you hyperextended them? All right, when we stay straight legs, have a little bend in the knee. Feel the muscles squeeze in tight. Now get your spine long, reach your right arm out. You can keep the left hand on the chair. We're gonna reach a little bit, and then just bring the right arm down towards the right leg. Now again, don't lock the knee. Keep a little bit, just squeeze the muscles. If you feel steady, let the left arm come up. So again, squeeze into the tummy. Now feel a straight line down your head, your spine, your tailbone. And I've even got like a little triangle here underneath my right arm. I don't know what style triangle that is, but obtuse, maybe? I don't know. Anyway, squeeze the legs, the tummy. Slow your breath down, everybody. You can always bring the arm back down. If it doesn't hurt the neck, you can even look up towards your left hand. So feeling that energy through your legs, through your arms, through your core is you find that softness in your breath. So let's do two more breaths in. Everybody take a nice long inhale, nice long exhale. One more time, everybody. Big breath in and out. All right, squeeze the belly. Let's come back to center. Bring the hand in. Now, I'm gonna have my feet adjust. So left toes gonna stay still, right toes coming in. We're gonna do a, a forward fold. So have the chair near you. If you start to bring your hands maybe to the seats, all the way, or to the back of the chair, or all the way down, just go as far as you feel comfortable. So again, you got your knees a little bit. Maybe you could start to fold a little further into it. And as far as I know, maybe some of you have enough flexibility to start to bring your hands down. Maybe, maybe not today. But get some space along your hamstrings, the back of your legs, as well as your spine. And then again, slow your breath down. So take a nice long inhale, nice long exhale. All right, one more time, everybody. Take a big breath in and out. All right, draw in the belly, support yourself, lift back up. All right, now we're gonna do that triangle on the other side. So let me just show you my feet. My left toes, and you're gonna point out, my right toes might come in a little bit. Now again, Strong legs, right? No, no lock knees, not over bent and lazy. We're gonna squeeze them up tight, pull into the tummy, and again, you got the chair nearby if you need it. Otherwise, we're just gonna squeeze the legs, try to bring the left arm down in front of your thigh, never ever pressing, relaxing on the knee, right? So legs are strong. See that little triangle over there? That triangle over there? All right, that right hand can stay on the seat or maybe you're able to extend it up. But keep drawing in the tummy, and again, feel the length, straight line, head down the spine to the tailbone, squeezing the belly, legs strong, from the heels to the hips, engaging, and then again, let your arms be strong. We're not just hanging out, finding that energy, helping you with your breath. Maybe looking up to the right hand, if it doesn't hurt your neck, let your eye gaze just kind of drift off the fingers if you're looking up. Slow your breath down, everybody. Big inhale, big exhale. All right, one more time. Take a nice long breath in and out. 
right? Bring your hands down if you want. Lift yourself back up. All right, we're going to do that forward fold, but we'll try to change it up. So I'm going to have you adjust your feet. So I've got my chair here if you need it. Bringing uh, the hands down now. If you can go a little further, I'm gonna we're gonna do a little twist variation. My right hand is going to reach down towards my left leg, so I can touch my thigh. Maybe you can reach down to your calf, you know, your chair, or maybe you can reach down towards your ankle. And just listen to your body, trying to find a subtle twist in your spine. So let's just relax through the shoulders, soften the breath. If you uh, don't need the chair, you could bring both hands to the leg. You could bring your left hand to your hips. Just kind of feeling that evenness in the hips. Take a few more breaths in. Maybe looking over your left shoulder, kind of deepening that twist. One more time. Inhale and exhale. All right, now if you need the chair, come back to center. And let's just go the other way. So start to walk your left hand towards your right leg. Again, you can support your hand, uh, right hand on the chair, but just explore and see how far you could potentially take um, your hand down on this side. And again, maybe your right hand needs to rest on the, on the seat or on the same leg, or maybe it can come to your hips. So just visualize the subtle twisting in your spine, maybe looking over your right shoulder so the neck gets into that stretch. Good. Let's just take another big breath in and out. Carefully come back to center. Let the chair support you if you need it. Inhale, come all the way up. Big breath in to lift you up. All right, walk the feet together. Nice job, everybody. And just before we transition to the floor, let's do one more balancing. I love to do tree. It's a fun way to transition to the ground. So got your chair nearby if you need it. Wait, oh, make sure it's steady. <laughs> All right, weight's going to come to the left leg. So remember how we did before, maybe kind of fan the toes, plug them down, squeeze it strong. Get your spine long, and then you're going to first start by pivoting the right hand toes out. My right heel is on my left ankle, and you can stay like this. This is a tree. This is tree pose, or you want to bring your hands like it's your heart. All right, now if you're going for a little bit further balance, Try just to, as you keep the weight in the left leg, slide your right foot up to the calf. The toes can stay on the floor, or maybe they come up a little bit. Try not to go all the way up to the knee. You don't want to rest there, right? You want to have that support. Your uh, hips are kind of drawing in. Right foot, left leg pressing into each other. Belly pulling in. Notice if you're still steady, keep the hand on the chair. You are also welcome to extend your arms up. You, know, you see a lot of tree yoga postures like this. I say do whatever you want with your arms. Yeah, it's fun time. You can bring them at your heart. You can just uh, keep them steady on your hips, but try just to mindfully slow your breath down, finding steadiness in this balancing. Take one more inhale, exhale. All right, gently release, balance over both feet for a second. Uh, we'll do it one more time on the other side. So I'm going to adjust the chair up to the other leg. Remember, right leg is strong, so don't be afraid to fan the toes, squeeze it tight. Again, starting with level hips, just simply pivot your left knee and toes out. This might be good. This could be the side that you're like, I'm going to stay here. I need to work on my balance, my strong standing leg. Pulling the belly in, always keep your hand on the chair. Maybe you're going to bring your left hand to your heart. Or, you know, again, See what happens. See if you want to play with it. If you're able and you feel steady, again, keep the standing leg strong so you have a hyperextended knee. Hands could be on the hips, hands to the hearts. So you can grow those branches out. If you're looking for some extra fun challenge, again, safety first. Maybe you can look up with your eyes to the ceiling. But just think steadiness, your foot, like the root of a tree, is planted to the ground. So you're you might feel a little waving back and forth. Trees totally sway in the wind. But again, you've got that foundation. You're lifted up. Your jaw is soft. Your breath is under control. So give yourself one more mindful inhale and exhale. All right, carefully bring the hands down. So chair bounce over both feet. Great job, everybody. We're going to transition to the floor. I'll give you a couple minutes. I need to readjust my camera angle. 
but you're going to uh, come to the ground and please feel free to sneak in a sip of water if you need it, right? All right, so let's, um, as you get down, let's start seated. Let me adjust my camera. So we're gonna sit on our bottom. Maybe you like to uh, crisscross your legs. Have to use all sorts of props here to make sure that my um, camera is able to see what I'm saying and doing. Okay, I think that's okay. Okay, so I'll give you another minute. Again, we're just, uh, and at any time, please uh, don't forget that if it brings you discomfort, get into a position that is uh, better for you. You can make some subtle adjustments. You can uh, modify, and again, don't forget that when we come to the floor, you might need a couple of folded towels or blankets to place under your knees or your hips, just to help keep it uh, safe and comfortable as best you can. All right, so let's just sit up tall. If you can, if you want, um, also feel free to transition to a bed. I've seen people do that uh, so you're safe. You can't get fully to the floor. Just listen to your body. All right, so we'll just, let's do three breaths like this. Inhale, arms up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. One more time fully like that. Big breath in and out. All right, this time, Inhale, bring the arms up. I want you to exhale, gently start to round down. So you're folding, hands to the floor, relax your head, and you might have to stop. <laughs> it's really tight. You, some of you might be able to walk your hands a little further forward. Just try to keep your hips planted to the floor. Try to soften through your shoulders and your neck. Try to mindfully control your breath. Take a nice long inhale. Nice long exhale, softening where you're able to, keeping the breath under control. Now from here, let's just walk our hands to the right. So very subtly, getting a little uh, arching in the spine, walking your hands together over further to the right side as best you can. Still taking those breaths slow and control. Good, take another inhale. Nice long exhale. One more time, everybody. Big breath in and out. All right, carefully, we'll walk our hands center and then over to the left. So just kind of explore, see what's happening on this side of the body. Similar, different, intense, maybe. Again, let your breath guide you. You can always back up out of it if it starts to bring major discomfort. But again, you're going to give yourself permission just to explore how you feel in these postures, letting your breath continue to stay slow and consistent, trying to embrace the softness in your jaw when you can. So let's take one more breath in and out. All right, gently walk back to center. We'll just finish this out here. Two more breaths in and out, just relaxing into it. One more time, inhale, exhale. All right, very carefully, inhale, walk yourself back up. Make sure you're still breathing, kind of get a little busy there. All right, now let's try butterfly. So we'll try to get our feet to touch, and they don't have to be very close, right? You can have them further out. It's just uh, kind of exploring like what you're feeling there on the inner thighs. So try to get your spine long. That's why it's okay if your feet are further away from your body. Sitting up tall, just again, feeling the shoulders draw down, maybe feeling the belly kind of swoop in, take another breath in, maybe tilt slightly forward at the hips, or feel a little bit. Huh. All right, so just a couple of breaths like this. I know sometimes people have the habit you kind of bat your wings a little bit, but just allow yourself to come back to that stillness, become more aware of the openness in your body. Taking a couple of breaths in and out. Good, one more time. Big inhale, exhale. All right, draw into the belly, inhale, come back up. All right, so let's just try to feel the feet come forward. Now, um, I'm going to say you don't have to have straightened legs. In fact, I encourage you bend your knees. 
See if you can lift your spine up. So get your spine long, knees bent. Start to tilt forward. You can bend your knees up further. Maybe bring your hands towards your feet, towards your ankles, maybe towards your toes. Lengthen your spine. And then just keep your belly and thighs touching as you just start to reach a little further down your legs. So rather than just doing this, I would rather you kind of think lengthen the whole spine. So you bring your feet forward, your knees stay bent, but your belly is pulling in. I'll come back face forward. So again, you're, you're just feeling some space opening along the back of your legs, your hamstrings, as well as your lower spine, and maybe even up towards the neck, just relaxing the head down. So take another big breath in and out. All right, let's support ourselves. Inhale, come back up. All right, so however you can, um, let's, we're gonna do a, one posture lying all the way down on our belly, because uh, the goal is, so you can have some variations, I wanna strengthen our lower spine. So in essence, what we're doing is just subtly pressing up to squeeze these lower back muscles. So if you are able to, Lie all the way down. It doesn't have to be graceful <laughs> to get there. All right, as soon as you get down to the floor, bring your hands really tight underneath. Now I'm gonna encourage you as best you can to bring the legs close together. Now, try not to just press up. Try just to find lower back space, squeezing it in tight, let the shoulders kind of relax down, and then just lift up an inch or two. Again, my hands are there, but I'm not pushing down on them. I'm using the lower back strength to subtly lift myself up, take another breath in, maybe lift a little higher, and then release for a second. Bring your left ear to the mat to the floor. Take a nice big breath in and out. Now we're gonna do that one more time. I'm gonna give you a choice, just like with the hands here, or if you've got um, some range of motion, maybe you can bring your hands into a fist, okay? So option one, pressing up. Option two, hands behind you. So let's press the legs down, squeeze the belly, and then lift them. So we get all the back strength. Using those back muscles to lift you up. Don't be afraid to look up. Squeeze the belly, squeeze that lower spine strength. Keep breathing, take one more inhale. Higher. Okay, release. Bring your right ear to the mat. Take a breath in. And out. All right, now, very carefully, I'm going to have you uh, get yourself up to tabletop, hands and knees, on all four. So you might have to support yourself lifting up. Once you get into tabletop, if you need to bring some towels or blankets under your knees, that's fine. We're going to do a couple of those cat cow breaths. Remember we started the class with that? So let's think arching and rounding. So big inhale, tilt the chin up, the tailbone comes up, you're arching your back, and then exhale through the teeth. Say shh, round it all out. Let's do that two more times. Inhale, looking up, exhale, shh, squeeze the belly, round out the back. One more time, everybody. Big breath in, big breath out, shh. All right, come to neutral, and now child's pose. So, Again, you can set a towel, a pillow between your feet and your hips. You can have your knees wide, or maybe they feel better together. Try to relax your head. You can even bring um, a fist up to rest your head on your hands, or maybe your head can come to the floor. Child pose, I just want you to keep you in here for a, a tiny bit. Maybe like 30 seconds, okay? So soften your head down. This is a part where I encourage you, don't look up, don't look around. Try not to move if you can. Try to soften your head, your neck, your wrists. Try to find some stillness as you continue to breathe in and out. Letting the breath slow down, just carefully breathing into whatever tightness or tension you might be experiencing. But hopefully you're getting a little bit of softness there. So take a little more mindful inhale. Exhale. All right, inhale gently, support yourself, rounding back up. All right, last transition here, so we in class, we're gonna lie down on our back. 
So again, getting to a uh, more comfortable lying down pose. Top of this again, have to be graceful. It doesn't have to be rushed. Just take your time. Lying down, slowly supported and controlled. All right, now I have my knee bent. So let's take a quick moment here. Legs are bent. Kind of feel how your back rests on the floor. Natural curve, maybe at the lower back, back of the neck. Just kind of feel uh, centered for a second. Now we'll do um, a little quick activation. Left leg stays bent. You can extend your right leg out. So I want you to really squeeze through your right leg like you did when you were standing on it on one leg. Flex the toes, squeeze the leg tight, press the palms down if you can to the floor, and then inhale, lift your right leg up for five, four, three, two, one. Exhale slowly, extend the heel away. We're just going to hover right above the floor, and then inhale, lift again. Strong, stable leg. Doesn't have to come high. Exhale. Flex the toes back, kick the heel away, press the belly button down. Let's do two more. Inhale up. Exhale down, squeezing tight. One more time. Inhale. Nice. Exhale. Lower, slow, and then release. Maybe shake it out for a second. Woo. All right, we're going to switch it out. So bend up the right knee, extend the left leg. All right, so again, press the palms down. Think activation. Your left leg is strong. You're flexing your toes, squeezing your belly. Here we go. Inhale, lift it up. Nice and strong, slow, engaged movement. Don't walk the knee, but keep it engaged. Exhale, slowly lower. So again, knee can be a little bent. Keep it straight and strong. Inhale, up, squeezing tight. Yes, exhale, slowly lower. Flexing the toes to your face, keeping the heel away. Inhale up, squeeze the leg tighter each time. Exhale slowly, flex the toes back to your face, keep the heel away. One more, everybody. Inhale up, good. Find that edge, squeeze the leg tight. Exhale slowly, lower all the way down the knees. Let me shake it out for a second. Go ahead and bend up both knees. All right, we're going to do a um, bridge pose. So knees are bent, tilt your hips up a little bit. So tuck the tailbone. Now you're just getting a little openness along the front of the thighs. Some of you might have the ability to lift your hips way up. Otherwise, just you can keep your hips on the floor. Just tuck the tailbone slightly to feel a little more space, openness from the knees, to the thighs, to the hips. Another breath in and out. All right, carefully release the hips down. Hug your knees into your chest. So this is our wind motor. You bring your hands to your legs. Maybe you can reach for opposite fingers or get it really tight. But let's bring the lower spine to the floor. Inhale, feel the lower back draw down. Exhale, try to hug the knees in tight. It's a deep compression here in the hips. Nice and easy. So just again, listen to your body. If you can imagine like your whole spine, um, neck to tailbone, getting closer to the floor, that's basically what you're trying to, to use here. So the entire back is getting compressed. Your hips are compressed, but you're feeling that relief and tension as you continue to breathe. So take another inhale. Exhale, just draw it in as tighter as you can. All right, carefully release. Bring the feet flat again. Knees are still bent. Let's do a gentle twist. So let your knees float towards the left side. If they can come all the way to the floor, great. Let your body kind of go with that twist. Knees are down. And maybe you can reach your right arm up and then let it start to float towards the right. It doesn't have to touch the floor. I would encourage you, if you can, to look towards the right. So your knees are left, your eyes are right, so you can feel this twist happening up the entire spine. Your left hand can be on your leg, on your torso, or maybe you reach it out, kind of opening the chest there. But maybe, again, if you can look towards your right hand, just a few more breaths like this. Inhale, spine lengthening. Exhale, subtle deep twisting. Good, another time. Big breath in. 
and out. All right, one more time, everybody. Big inhale, nice long exhale. All right, you can bring your hands to center. Think about drawing your belly in. Be careful as you let your legs come back to the center. So these are bent. Try to get even in the hips to the floor. So you think. All right, got to go the other way. So carefully, carefully let your knees start to float to the right. See what happens there. This could be, again, a, a different feeling, sensation on this side. No, this is my tight side, obviously. All right, so kind of feel where you're at. Maybe you can let your left arm extend out. Maybe your eyes can start to uh, look to your left. And again, just maybe now you have the right arm extended, but think from your neck down the entire spine to the tailbone is subtly, carefully rotating. Just getting that spiraling sensation of your spine. And you almost feel like you could also lengthen your arms away to help deepen the stretch if you need that. So once again, let's slow our breath down. Nice long inhale. Nice long exhale. Looking over. All right, one more time, everybody. Big breath in. Big breath out. All right, scoop of the belly. Inhale, start to work yourself back to center. Knees come back to center. Now I'm going to give you a choice. You can do wind relieving like we did earlier. Otherwise, the next stop is a uh, happy baby. So I have my knees spread out a little bit. My hands come inside my legs to reach towards the pinky edge of my feet. Okay, or you can grab your ankles. But happy baby. I love to use that visual analogy. Like you see a little baby in the crib. It's like, oh, look, I got feet. And they kind of just start gently, gently walking back and forth. Don't, don't rush this. Just take it slow. Feeling how the earth is just gently massaging your back by just bringing the pressure from one side to another. A good opportunity just to kind of continue to check in with your breath. Feeling how you transi uh, transition from one side to another. If it's tighter on one side, just Continue to breathe through it. Maybe you feel good of holding it a little bit extra on one side. Try to balance it out. Maybe holding it a little extra on the other side. If you have the range of motion, keep the feet, uh, feet towards the hips or lift them up a little bit. That just kind of changes the angle on where you might be feeling that pressure as you roll back and forth side to side. But again, just stay comfortable. Stay in your safe space. Stay connected to your breath. I'll give you another couple of breaths here just to kind of feel this. And then we'll start to transition to our final resting pose. So I give you choices. You can bring your feet flat, knees bent. You could even do supine butterfly with the feet connected, knees out, or you just extend your legs out straight. So let's, uh, if you're seated, that's fine. I want you to get comfortable. Before we start to fully relax, we're gonna do the opposite. So what I want you to do before we begin, take a big breath in, and I want you to tense up, everybody. Make this, rinse your teeth, flex, squeeze everything you can, and then exhale, let it fall out. Oh, let's do that again. Big breath in and hold it, squeeze it super tight, get all that tension, and then release. Let's do it one more time. All right, tense, everybody. Inhale and squeeze it. Get all the tension in your body. You can find it once you grit your teeth, clench your eyebrows, and then exhale, let it go. Hardest part right now, right? You find that softness. I want you to hold on to it. Take a nice recovery breath in and out. So your only job right now is to be still. And then I'm going to talk to you. You are lying down. You're still laying comfortably, soft, closing your eyes, trying to come to stillness, trying to connect to your breath, to come to softness. 
So let's just, you have choices. Your hands can stay on the floor. Maybe bring one hand to your belly. But I want you to observe belly breath. So inhale, feel your belly rising up. Exhale, feeling it fall back down. So do that a couple of times. Nice big breath in. Big breath out. Start to feel the oxygen come into your body as you breathe in, your belly expands, your chest cavity expands. As you breathe out, blue nose to the mouth, just try to push out all the air. So take another big breath in, long breath out. As you breathe in again, feeling your rib cavity, your rib cage expand. And then as you breathe out, feel it come back. Slow, mindful, controlled breaths in and out. Start to bring awareness as you continue to focus on your breath, your feet. Do you have tension in your toes, your feet, your ankles? Maybe you can imagine just the sensation of like ivy starting to crawl up your feet, taking with it any tightness or tension you might have with it. Breathing in again, start to let that ivy, that awareness go up through your calves. Again, encroaching with it, every little last bit of tension, tightness, taking it with it as it starts to circle up your legs, going around your knees. So again, be very gentle as you explore how your knees feel. Again, imagining that ivy just kind of continuing to spiral up your legs, letting go of any tightness or tension you might experience through your legs, through your thighs. As you continue to breathe in, observing now if the ivy can start to loop over your hip bones, circling around your hip cavities, feeling where you can have tightness, tension, stress, frustration around your hips. Letting that ivy just continue to circle around, circling up any sort of tightness that you have. As you continue to breathe, just imagine that ivy now spiraling up your spine, taking with it any sort of tightness that you have, resting through your back, circling all the way up to your neck and even around your rib cage. So again, just another breath here, whatever you're feeling tightness through your torso, letting that ivy just come through and sweep it up. As you breathe in again, noticing now how your shoulders feel. Can you just imagine that ivy starting to circle around your shoulders, sweeping up any sort of tension that might be resting in your shoulder sockets, breathing out, letting it soften. As you breathe in again, now let the ivy start to work its way down your arms, circling around your bicep muscles, your triceps around your elbows, down your arms, your wrists, your hands, and your fingers. All have that vision of ivy circling around it, feeling as though that it is taken with it every little knot, little tension piece through it, taking it as it circles all the way out your arms. So let the awareness of that ID come back to your neck. We're going to carry a lot of tension and tightness through our neck space. But again, just start to imagine how the ID gently circles around the tightness of your neck, starting to loop up around your head, feeling how the muscles of your forehead, your skull, down your ears, through your jawline, where you're maybe carrying tension subconsciously, but start to feel your teeth subtly separate. Start to feel how that ID kind of works into all the muscles we have in our face, starting to take with it that last little bit of tension, tightness around our entire soul, floating out with it. So give yourself another just mindful breath in, belly still rising. Breath out, let it fall. It's a struggle sometimes to be 
physically still. So give yourself permission to not move. But I even was taken with it every little last bit of frustration, tension. Now you have permission to not fidget, to not move. As you continue to maintain your slow breaths in and out, give yourself permission to not have to think. You know, we stay busy in our days, our lives are sometimes chaotic. So you have permission for just a couple of moments to not have to run through a checklist of things in your head, just to simply be still, to soften into your head, relaxing again, your jawline, your shoulders. Maybe give yourself permission to just breathe and count in breaths. Maybe inhale for two, exhale for two. Breathing in, slowly breathing out. So as you breathe in, maybe give yourself that sense of fullness. Expanding the ribs, the belly, letting the chest cavity open. And as you exhale, feeling like as your body starts to sink down, that you are letting go of any unnecessary tension, tightness. So again, mindful breath in. And as you slowly breathe out, can you feel, imagine your body getting heavy, sinking into the mat, into the floor. Each breath in, find gratitude. Each breath out, just simply let go. Tension, negativity, all leaving your body and your mind. So take another mindful inhale. Nice long exhale. Good, one more time. Nice mindful breath in and out. Now I'm going to invite you, you can stay here. Um, if you are able and willing, you are welcome to go over to the side. Just kind of get yourself in that cool position. And then whenever you're ready, no rush, and be supporting yourself, pressing carefully up to a comfortable seated easy pose. And again, there's, there's no rush at this moment in class. Just stay lying down if you want to. But um, as a community, if you want to together, just end with a, uh, just a couple of slow controlled breaths like we did earlier with the hands up and back down. All right, so sitting up tall, if you're with us, just take a nice inhale, bring the hands up. Exhale, lowering the hands down. Nice and easy to center two more times. Inhale, exhale, pushing all the air out. One more time, big breath in and out. And then yoga, you just end with that word that simply means you know, gratitude. I see your hard work. I am so grateful for the time that you spent with me, for letting me guide you through your practice. Lord, namaste. Thank you so much. Have a good day. Stop the recording.